weather is picture perfect this afternoon. We just have some cumulus clouds out there. No rain. It's a huge improvement over yesterday. And we're getting some really pretty photos in on you local of last evening's haze and smoke across the area. This is Black Hawk Lake in Lakeview, Iowa. You can barely see the trees on the other side of the bank there. It was so thick. Now, this is a beautiful photo, a smoky sunset in Kellogg with the pink and purple colors there. It was pretty, but boy, you could smell it in the air, and it burned my nose last evening. The reason for it, we had that cold front move through, and all the air behind the cold front was sinking, dragging down all that smoke from up above and bringing it right to the ground. While conditions have improved today, this area of high pressure will continue to move it off to the east. Some smoke plumes still affecting Wisconsin and eastern Iowa today. Tomorrow's going to be quiet. A few clouds will be rolling in during the afternoon. Then We'll be watching the next system to affect us coming in out of Kansas. This one will be pulling warmth and moisture once again back up and over a warm front. So, by the overnight hours, Thursday night and into early on Friday, we'll be tracking a complex of storms moving through the area, probably heavy rain with that too. And this system is going to camp out across the state for the weekend. So, that will be interesting to see what role that plays in our thunderstorm chances for Saturday, especially early in the morning. Right now, though, we've just got some puffy cumulus clouds, a smoke plume mainly affecting Wisconsin over toward the Dubuque area. And our air quality is actually much better than it was last evening. Going to be a nice night for all those ball games. Get out and enjoy it today with highs comfortable, low to mid 70s today, more like late September than this time in July. And tomorrow morning, once again, we're going to wake up the temps in the 50s. Probably going to have a heavy dew, but it's going to be a beautiful start to the day. That north wind continues about 10 to 15 miles per hour, making it feel even cooler if you're not in the sunshine. Temps are only in the 60s this midday. Fort, Fort Dodge now at 64 degrees. And the time we're checking in at 69. Now we're going to stick with these cooler temperatures for a few more days, but notice temps really heat up as we head toward the weekend. Even next week is looking pretty toasty. It's a beautiful day to be outdoors. 69 degrees now in Des Moines. Check out that dew point 51. The dew points have fallen some 20 degrees. So yesterday felt really tropical, and today it feels pretty dry out there. We're headed for 75 degrees. A mixture of sun and clouds. Overall, a good looking day. Overnight temperatures are going to turn chilly again, back to 58 degrees. A light breeze coming in from the east. And then for tomorrow, things are still looking good. 74, the high temp. We'll have more clouds rolling in in the afternoon. Not much wind tomorrow. Here's the eight-day forecast. Thursday, at this point, is looking mainly dry. But late Thursday night into Friday morning, those are our best chances to see the rainfall. Even a few thunderstorms will be possible into Saturday. But temps will be heating right back up, climbing into possibly the low 90s yeah. as we start next week. So let's just bottle up today and keep it for later. <laughs> That's the Iowa in July, we right. know, isn't it? Up and down. All right. Thanks a lot, Matinka.